We haven't done it in a while, but this instance calls for some paint scheme reviews. And you guys know that I am particular about my paint schemes, but also I'm more particular about these throwback schemes. And we have some great ones. Oh, yeah. First up, what do we got? Chase Elliott, number nine, throwing it back to <clears throat> Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2014 na uh, National Guard car. That thing is freaking sporty buddy See, it better thing, have it better have the the vinyl with the little circle uh like turn engine marks. turn oh, sure the golden engine turn yeah it looks like it could be a great paint scheme that he runs every week like, yeah it could just be normal now you lose just from the stripes and how it all works with the next gen car you kind of lose the universe here on the quarter panel um so i'm gonna go a nine four on that okay nine four that the universe is solid on the on the hood though so that helps but yeah good point i'm just gonna let you give the grades yep okay this is backstory this is Corey's favorite paint scheme of all time yeah that's my that's my favorite uh any any nascar fan any kid growing up in like the any 90s kid knows this scheme the kellogg's frosted flakes terry labani five car this might be the best next gen paint scheme i've ever seen yeah, and they have creative freedom because it's a Hendrick, you know, their right. own sponsor. So they did the uh, the Hendrick in the Kellogg's font. They even, the fire suit looks exactly the same, the helmet. It was really cool. Uh, one thing when I saw them kind of doing the reveal, they had Terry's fire suit. Yeah. And then they had Kyle's. And he's like, feel the difference. And he's like, this thing's like three pounds lighter. I'm sure. So. That's a 10. That sets the that's bar to me. Ten. That's a 10. Um, uh, I mean, that's like, you know, Dave Portnoy's piece review. He doesn't give out 10s. That's a 10. That's a ten. That's, that's a the ten. that's the golden. That goose. is that is the golden goose. Twenty four. Uh, I feel like we've never seen a flame paint scheme throwback before for Jeff Gordon. Um, but I didn't. I wouldn't know that this was a throwback if you didn't tell me. Like I thought, I would just think this is kind of what they run. But I guess I don't pay attention. Uh, I'm um, gonna say this. I know it loses points because the number is not on a solid color. Yeah, it loses points in my book, and also we. We had a, a flame Schluter system scheme four or five years ago with the old car, and I loved it. But when you move the number forward, you kind of lose some of the, the flame, like, details. It's cool. Nothing. You can, the flames can't be tainted. With, the, yeah. Like it's got to be raw can't put, flame. Yeah, you're burning up the number. Um, I'm going to go 7, 8. Okay. Ooh. The old Ryan Ellis. Ryan Ellis, City Chevrolet. That one looks pretty cool. That's um, a good job. What's on the what's on the uh what's the sponsor? Classic, Classic collision. Yeah. Um okay. I like when I love it when sponsors are willing to bend their brand standards and fit in toward a logo. So I'm gonna go with the creative. I'm gonna give these guys a, a pretty good one. I'm gonna go nine two. Ooh, we're staying in the um Days of Thunder Realm. Yo, Russ Wheeler. Liuna number eighteen. Yeah, I just I can't really I can't really get too excited about truck truck uh throwback schemes or car throwback schemes on a truck it just it doesn't it doesn't work if you want to throw me a rick corelli throwback if you want to throw me a ron hornaday throwback jack yeah. spread sure yeah that's a good point i like the number i like the scheme but dock the point and a half let's go eight six mackinelli racing oh this one here we go brandon pool oh one of the all-time favorite schemes the kyle petty hot wheels car uh, again Thanks for CW and Sons for uh, just jamming their letters into a Hot Wheels logo. Hopefully there's no uh, trademark infringement on the way for those guys. Let's go 9-4 for that one. Perfect. I like that. Perfect. Back to a truck here, the Peak 43. Just give me a quick one. Uh, who is that to? Daniel Dye. No, I know, but who's that guy? That's, um, is Kyle, that Kyle, Petty? that's Kyle Petty 42. Yep, Peak. They didn't even change the number font. Three five. Three five. Okay. Okay. Back to Hendrick. Forty eight oh. car. God, that just still feel bad about wrecking them, but it's one of the one of the greatest schemes of all time. That's a good one. Um Shout the, out the to fluorescent too. yellow forty eight just is, is how it's supposed to be, man. It's just Buddy, when that car got unloaded at Dover, you were running for second. For sure. Charlotte. Dude, eleven times he won there. Uh, yes. He owned anywhere. Charlotte. Anywhere uh for about ten years. So Nine, five. To the Wood Brothers. Wood Brothers always have great backstories. This is their uh, one of their original twenty-one cars here. I like that here. a lot. 
I like that. Wh- who's the name over the door? Glenwood. It says uh, over the door. It says Leonard Wood Special, just like oh. just like the coupe did here. Like and that. on the door, um, right under the window, it says Driver Glenwood. Yeah. So it's got Harrison's name above the windshield. I man, a black Wood Brothers car. That that's really cool. Yeah. Dex changed their font. Um, they even have a little bit of mud on there because it was a dirt track. Oh, I, I like that. I, I like that a lot. I'm gonna go nine seven. Nice, love it. All right, here we are to your the last one. Here we go. A lot um, of good memories with this old girl. Yeah, right out of this shop, Catfish was the top car's name. Uh, we won, I believe, four races with that car that year. She had uh, Catfish because she, she always had, eating she, on the bottom, eating the bottom, buddy. eating the bottom. That car, man, I don't know if it's if we and and Daniel Suarez, we should have brought it up with him here. My favorite story was NASCAR came out with the composite body, mm-hmm. and uh, you weren't allowed to touch it. But it was the, it was the original composite body for short track cars. It was like one one complete body. It was one, one yes one, one fiberglass body. One no fenders came off. It was like what well, like it just came down, picked it up. Yep. And uh, you we put it on that car. You won your first race. Um, that car it was a specific built short track car, light low light left Mm -hmm. you go to we we won bowman gray with it i think you won langley Langley. with it but then you wrecked your steel body car and you had to go to iowa with it yeah and And that was a big argument can't go to iowa with with this composite body we got no downforce so might have broke the rules a little bit and you're cutting the left side repairing cutting the left side fender off this thing and the rule is you couldn't touch the body but you could repair it now Daniel Suarez's crew chief, Coleman Presley. <laughs> Happened to just stop by. Just stop. It was like his friends on the setup plate, and he walks in the back room, and they're just covered in fiberglass, and everybody's like, <laughs> uh, hey, man. And he's like, oh, hey. And he just turned around and <laughs> left. <laughs> and it was. I just still think about that to this day. And then you go to Iowa with that car and, and won that race, too. Really should have won oh, the championship ass. that year. Uh, some, some, some shenanigans. Some different stuff went on, but – that car right there is the car that made your career, so I would give got you that it, one. Certainly got it going. So just the number uh, font, seeing it on, on a car again is pretty cool. Um, Camouflage in the stripes. A little digital camo in the stripes. A little bit of razzle-dazzle. Just a grape company this team sold. So excited. I'll-